What up, my man in society? It is your host with the most, Shadow Nook. Back at you with another video. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Make sure you guys like the channel. You know, uh, where it says subscribe right there in red, go ahead and tap on that. It's free. It don't cost anything. You'll help my channel get into the algorithm. I would highly appreciate it. And if you guys could please help and share, um, you know, I would highly appreciate, you know, the support. It would mean a lot. Now, what I wanted to talk about today was, um, like the title says, um, the fine line between ego and pride. Uh, because um, this is something that often get people get confused with. Uh, people often confuse ego with pride. Um, and it's a very thin line, you know what I mean? Um, you know, it could get blurred, you know, with individuals. But there is a difference to it. Uh, and it's, you know, recognizing the differences. Example. We're all prideful in our heritage. We're all prideful in our ethnicity, right? You know, people are proud to be black. People are proud to be, you know, Hispanic, Latino, Raza, Mexican, however you want to call it. People are proud to be, you know, Caucasian. You know, people are proud to be, you know, Asian and so on and so on. So if people have pride, right? And then there's other people who's who have ego. Prideful is saying that you love being, you know, your ethnicity. Um, you love your ethnicity. Um, you love your culture. Uh, you love, you know, you know your food, your traditions, etc. Like that. That is prideful, you know. Um, when you speak about your culture. What is egotistical? Egotistical is when somebody comes and says, my race is the best race. No race is better than my race. We are the strongest. We are the fastest. We are the smartest. We are the most popular. We are the most, that is egotistical. Your race is good, but mine is better. That is egotistical. You know what I'm saying? Truth of the matter is no race is better than no race. Truth of the matter is, there is not, not one race that's number one ethnicity that's number one. Um, every ethnicity has something good to bring to the table. Every ethnicity has their, you know, good to it. And nothing is perfect in this world. So every ethnicity has flaws in it. And every ethnicity creates errors. To think that your ethnicity is perfect or it doesn't make any mistakes or it could only breed, you know, the perfect human beings and and stuff like that is the most ridiculous thing. That is not hating. That is not being biased. That is not, you know, taking shots. That's that's the truth, bro. Though that's the facts. There is nothing that's perfect in this world. Um, you know, have ethnicities created errors in their time? Yes. You know what I mean? Go look at the history. Every ethnicity has committed, you know, heinous acts. Not one his not one is not one ethnicity's hands are clean. So it's understanding the pride in your ethnicity, understanding the good comes with the bad. And not being upset when people point out the bad, you know what I mean? Um I mean, if we're just speaking facts, we're speaking facts. This depends how they speak on it, though. If they speak ill about it or if they uh, look to make uh, one of the ethnicities, you know, inferior to, an to another one, you know what I mean? Uh, weaker or, you know, less than, um, you know? And that is how you recognize when somebody is prideful or when somebody is just egotistical. Um, because I hear a lot of people thinking that they're prideful, but when you do, when you say stuff like, your race is the best, uh, you know, no race is better than yours, and everybody wants to be like your race because yours is number one, that is egotistical, bro. That is somebody who has hatred in their heart. Uh, that, that is somebody who's who's misguided, um, you know what I mean? Um, who, has, who has confused their ego with their pride, um, you know, because a lot of people think that, nah, look, it's having, you know, you want to say that your race is number one. You want to say no, because then um, you are um, 
you are only thinking about yourself. You are being selfish because uh, uh, by saying comments like that, um, um, you don't know how the next the next ethnicity is going to take it, if they're going to take it disrespectful. And you could be like, I don't give a fuck and, and say and stuff like that. But then that's what I'm saying, though. You don't care and stuff like that. So you don't care about people's, uh, you know, how they might see it or their emotions and stuff like that. Um, and now, does that make you prideful or does that make you an asshole? You know what I mean? People have the right to say whatever they want in this world. Very true. But as an adult, you also um, have to take responsibility of how you say stuff, you know, and and how to talk to individuals. You know what I mean? Um, because nonetheless, you should give the next man respect. You know what I mean? Um, you know, take into consideration how he might take what you're about to say into consideration. You know what I mean? Um, because when you're only thinking about you and you don't care about how any other person is going to receive the message or how any person, if, they, if it might make them feel bad or whatever, and you're only caring about yourself, but then you want to say that, nah, that you don't have no hate in your heart or that you're in it for a positive thing or, or this, this and that is bull crap, bro. Because although you are saying this, your actions are saying something completely different, you know, because in this world, actions forever will speak louder than words. Um, you know, and it's something that I have said on my other channel when I talk about um, um, different, you know, um, you know, groups and stuff like that, because a person could come on here and tell many tales, you know, it's, you know, it's the Internet. People can say whatever they want, you know, but what they're saying it is is different from what's actually occurring you know what i mean because actions will forever speak louder than words that's why i never come on here and try to uh and try to um tell people hey hear my version of the tale uh i rather bring the facts actual proof evidence uh because they could tell whatever tell that they want but here's the evidence that's saying otherwise so because people lie evidence doesn't you know what i'm saying is understanding to being able to separate the two from being prideful to being, uh, you know, ignorant. Um, and, 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 you know, and that's the facts um, of the matter. Um, because, you know, when, like, let's say, when you know that your ego is getting the best of you, when you know it's not pride, is if, let's say, for example, um, a different ethnicity than yours, a different ethnicity is critiquing um is critiquing something uh, of your ethnicity but not uh, not on the simple fact that because it's it, it's your ethnicity but because that is the subject that we're that they were that we're discussing right and and now because he's a, of a different ethnicity than you uh you're gonna get us upset about it that is your ego getting the best of you you know what i mean that is you seeing color while everybody else is not seeing color because the subject is not color the subject is individuals but yet you chose to not make it about these individuals instead you chose to make it about color you know because the conversation was about individuals yet you chose to make it about color but yet you say you don't see color and that they're the ones that are being racist and you know you get what i'm saying uh when it's you know you're the one that made it about color you know they were talking about individuals but then you want to say that that it's your it, you're just prideful in your heritage that's not pride that's steering you that's your ego that's steering you um, you know what i'm saying um no ethnicity is better than no other ethnicity and everybody's ethnicity is great. Everybody's ethnicity has something beautiful to bring to the table. Um, now, people could say, well, why do people choose of different ethnicities to talk about, um, you know, like, let's say, for example, uh, you know, black ethnicities more than they choose to talk about other ethnicities because they are the ones that are front and center. They are the ones who are the athletes, the actors, the uh singers you know um and, and all of that right the the people uh, role models right the people who are in, who are hold to you know high standards uh in civilization you know what i mean um you know for for their gifts that they've been blessed with and and for and for their hard work and and and, and you know ach achievements uh you know you know they're 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 put on that light you know what i mean and uh, a lot of people look up to them uh and now you look at two two different ways about it um you can look at it like 
like oh man you know like these people really support what i'm doing because you know they 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 really buy into you know uh you know my achievements and what i'm about and stuff like that or you look at it like oh they just want to be like that because they know that our race is number one see one was about pride because you know uh, recognizing the hard work and stuff like that and the other one was completely just driven out of ego uh the two response it's not that you're just telling it how it is or or you have the courage to say it in that manner what it is is that no you're just disrespectful that there's a difference it's not that you just are the only person who who has the courage to tell it how it is no what it is is that you're just a disrespectful person and you're not able to see that uh, that's why others don't talk in the way that you talk because they want to, they take other people's, uh, you know, feelings into consideration while you don't. So it's not that you're being uh, 100 here, you know what I mean? Um, it just shows that you just care about nobody else's opinion but yours. You know, when you choose to uh, conversate like that, um, you got to take other people's, you know, feelings into consideration and how they might, you know, you know, perceive your message, especially if you're somebody, you know, of a, of a face figure who's who's coming on here and providing guidance to to use or to their, you know, ethnicities, you know, on how to better themselves. Uh, the last thing you want to be doing is encouraging them to disrespect other ethnicities and to start, uh, um, you know, setting borders. Right. Uh, you know, we work so hard to knock these bo uh, borders down, uh, you know, for everyone to be able to uh, interact with each other with, without seeing color and stuff like that. But people want to put everybody in the box. You're not allowed to talk about my ethnicity unless you're uh, you're of my ethnicity. Bullshit. You know what I mean? You can give your opinion on whatever you want in this world. You don't have to be from that ethnicity if that's the subject that we're talking about and discussing. That is how we make the laws here in the United States. If that's the case, then when we're ever talking about immigration or when we're when we're ever talking about you know certain bills, you're not allowed to vote on that bill unless you're of that ethnicity, which makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. Since when do you know uh, laws or countries run like that? They don't exactly because it would be idiotic. Um, so. It seems like these people who who, who talk about uh, wanting to, uh, you know, knock down these walls of, of color down are actually the ones that want to establish these walls, you know, of color. Like, blacks have to kick it with blacks, Mexicans have to kick it with Mexicans, white have to kick it with whites. Bullshit. Everyone's allowed to mingle with whoever they want, bro. You know what I mean? And it's a beautiful thing for all cultures to mix together. There's nothing wrong with that. Because at the end of the day, before you're black, before you're white, before you're rasa, before you're anything, you are a human being, bro. You are human. This shit is just a skin color, bro. That's all it is. It's nothing special. It'll make you faster. It'll make you smarter. It'll make you nothing, bro. It is just a different type of shade, bro. It's just a freaking skin color. That's all it is, bro. Nothing else. You know, to want to separate groups because of skin color and stuff like that. It's crazy that even animals don't do that shit. And we're supposed to be the superior of the species. <laughs> Seems like we're going backwards. But that is the difference between ego and um, and pride. You know what I mean? It's understanding um, how you carry yourself and, you know, and how you, you know, express your points of views. I'm just saying I'm shadowing out.